Hi guys, welcome back to another vlog. So if you guys follow me on Instagram, you know that there was a little bit of a hiccup a while ago where my footage on Final Cut Pro was deleted and ever since then it's been really throwing off this weekly vlog schedule because I'm honestly so confused when to post and like what footage is beginning and ending now. So anyway, I'm just gonna start a new video because I just need to start and get organized again. Today, my parents and I are gonna have a really nice day together downtown, so we're just gonna Sorry, I have my Tic Tac in here. Let me just... Okay. So my parents and I are going to be shopping around Robson area because as you guys know from my other Instagram story, I'm going to be renovating my parents' house. So we're just gonna take a look at some furniture and stuff like that. And then, yeah, that's pretty much the plan today. And we're gonna have a really nice day downtown. So this is my parents. Say hi, dad. Hi. And that's my mom. Hi. hi. Okay, so um, yeah, we're gonna get started and I will show you guys around. I'm with my parents outside now and we are gonna hit up CB2 first and then right across from CB2 is actually that store that I went to the Japanese snack store for that you guys saw in the last vlog. I'm gonna take my mom because if you guys didn't know my mom's actually obsessed with Japan so I'm very excited to show her that snack store that just showed us. We are on our way to CB2. Okay so this is the table that my parents really like. This is for their dining room. Hi, so we just finished at CB2, but we're not getting anything. So now we are on to the Japanese snack store that Jess showed me last time and I'm gonna show my mom this time. So let's go. We're back. This is from the last vlog. So this time I'm taking my parents. They're honestly so cute. I cannot get over them. Look at them. And guys, look, I returned my mom her bag. Hey guys, I'm not the only shopaholic. Okay, I think we're gonna get some of this. There's ice cream and crepes, and these are all Japanese style. Hey guys, I am officially home now. Sorry for this mess of hair, but I'm officially home now. And for the rest of the day, my parents and I mostly went furniture shopping. We also went grocery shopping together. And honestly, it is a brand new feeling walking into a grocery store knowing I am not gonna buy anything, or at least I'm not paying for anything. I was buying stuff. But the fact that my parents were paying for it, I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna grab all my favorites. Oh, today I actually also gave my mom, I was like feeling for the chain that I usually have from my initial necklace and it wasn't there but I actually gave it to my mom. That's how much you know I love her. I gave her my pearl earrings from a jury as well as my initial necklace to borrow, but I have a feeling she wants to keep it now. So I don't know what to do because you know, you guys all know that's my essential. So unless if I can find like a replacement, I'm gonna need that back. But anyway, so right now for the rest of the evening, my whole plan is to clean my damn room because, sorry, I got really close there. If you guys have seen some of my stories, you guys will know that I'm trying to gift my parents a whole new home renovation and part of it is like organizing and Marie condoing their entire house and when I'm gone they use my bedroom for random crap which I don't care because I'm never here so like yeah by all means use my room the one pet peeve I have is just use my room with like one or two purposes they have so many purposes with this room and it's not even just that it's the fact that the purpose is spread out they'll store winter jackets in my room which is fine if it was like the only place but they also store it in my brother's room their room downstairs and I'm just trying to like help them organize I honestly think this is the best present I could give them because I'm also buying a bunch of shit for this whole project but also just like the organization alone is really tedious so I'm not going to show you what my room looks like because it actually looks like hurricane god knows what name has hit this 
den, but I'm just trying to help them organize. I just actually purchased a bunch of storage containers for them from Canadian Tire. Hopefully this will help them with their organization. And I guess I will show you guys when this is done. I'm also gonna buy and redecorate my whole room. So I think you guys should be able to see that as well. So stay tuned. Hey guys, so it's currently Tuesday and today I just obviously worked. I actually helped my mom a lot more with cleaning out her closet, doing basically like the Marie Kondo stuff. And honestly, everything is already starting to look really amazing and she loves it. So that's the whole point of why I'm doing this because I love my parents. Anyway, right now I just finished acupuncture and now I'm on my way to meet Tiff. I actually met her at Western and she moved to Vancouver. So I'm really excited. I'm gonna see another person from Toronto or like Ontario. We're both not very hungry. So we're just gonna grab some sushi and walk around Olympic Village. But anyway, today at acupuncture, honestly, like haven't been having a really good day. You guys know how transparent I like to be with you guys, but I honestly woke up at 3 a.m. today. So I had three hours of sleep after sleeping at 12 a.m. So I'm so exhausted and I didn't know this, but usually I'm pretty good with acupuncture. And when he puts the stuff in, like I barely feel it or I feel just a little bit but today everything hurts so bad and he told me that it's because when you don't sleep your nerves are a little bit more active so I guess that's why I was like dying but another reason is because I think I'm going to be getting my period soon so I'm also PMSing and it was so funny when he put the needle in me today okay it hurt but I mean it, it was still manageable and then I don't know why I like started crying after he left like it wasn't even because of the pain at that point I was just crying for no reason I'm PMSing. Anyway, so I was literally crying and I'm like, why the fuck am I crying? But anyway, guys, that's how my day is going. Like I said, not every day is great. So I am trying to be transparent. I think Tiff is here. So I'm going to go meet up with her. Okay, this is Tiff. Hi. Hi. We finally met up and we got some sushi and we're just going to have dinner by Olympic Village. Today is Thursday and I am actually going to the Richmond Sunflower Market, no, Richmond Sunflower Festival. I've been seeing it all over Instagram from people in Vancouver and yeah, I'm gonna go today for the very first time and I'm gonna show you guys how it is. If it's good, I'm actually gonna bring my family there this weekend and as you guys can see, my hair is wet. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, I've been doing this huge natural curl journey. So quick background, I actually have never in my life, like I've always had natural curl, but I've never ever worn it as natural curl because it's never been, I don't know, like to me, I always thought it was like never curly enough to actually do it. But I finally decided to go the natural route and I've been really exploring and finally found what's been working with me. I highly recommend checking out my Instagram Instagram story highlights so you guys can see my journey but I finally found the right products so now I'm not even scared to walk out of my house with my hair wet because it's gonna air dry and hopefully it'll give the same results as yesterday which is when I tried it for the very first time but I didn't use the shampoo and conditioner this time I used like some special shampoo with Redken for my bleached hair so we'll see how it goes Okay, we'll just keep that. So today is Friday, I just finished work. So it's 3 p.m. right now, Vancouver time, and I'm currently with my brother, who is finally in Vancouver. I'll show you him in a second when he's done turning. Okay, here's my brother, say hi. Hi. Okay, so I'm currently with my brother. So if you guys didn't know, or if you guys didn't watch my previous vlogs, he lives in Fernie, BC, which is how many hours from Vancouver? 10, 11. 10, 11 hours, oh shit, from Vancouver. And he got home last night, even though he said he was gonna be here on Tuesday, but whatever, he got here finally. 
Okay, fine. He finally got here on Thursday. Anyway, we are currently on our way to Ikea. And as you guys know from previous stories slash vlogs, I'm going to be doing a huge home renovation project and I'm gonna be doing it with my brother. Yeah, I'm gonna be doing it together with John because he's gonna be a lot of the manpower. He's also actually gonna help me with a lot of the aesthetic stuff as well. And then we're gonna go to Ikea to pick up some stuff for the first room that we're gonna accomplish together, which is gonna be the home office and gym. So the goal is that we're gonna do this for our parents so they're not gonna lift even a finger, hopefully. And yeah, we're just gonna really transform their place. I think I'm gonna do another separate video completely on the home renovation, so not the vlogging portion, so you guys can see that on a separate video whenever it's done. But that's currently the plan. Hopefully, while I have John with me, he can help me take a OOTD picture because my mom did the last one, so he can do this one. Okay, so I am with Teresa again. Hello. Yay! Okay, so this is actually gonna be a weekly thing, so please get used to this duo. <laughs> actually, we're gonna hang out bi week. I mean, no, no twice a week. We're hanging out Not twice bi -week. a week. Yes. We have a special project coming up so soon. So stay tuned. So Teresa just picked me up from acupuncture <laughs> and we're just gonna go to Bubble World to get some bubble tea. In the meantime, right. Teresa actually has a huge PSA. Okay, so for those of you that are more active or those that aren't even that active, this is a must buy. This is from Lululemon and typically I go biking, I try to oh my put my phone in my pocket or like I'll have like oh, hold keys on. and everything. But with this, you can like wear it on your side, you can like wear it on um, your front and it fits so much stuff. Like it'll oh, fit your shit. phone. Okay, it'll that's definitely more keys. than my. It'll fit your mask and sanitizer. And look at this fat sanitizer. <laughs> Seriously, this I'm is dead. Worth she was trying to sell it to me. She was trying to sell it to me for a belt bag, and I'm literally. like, I literally have my belt bag right here. And she's like, she's like, do you take it biking though? This I'm is like, water yes. Water resistant, so you don't <laughs> have to worry about the letter. Like guys. So much better bang for your buck for hers than mine. Oh my god, is that the line for Bubble World? Please tell Where me no. Right there. Okay, we're finally inside Bubble World. I am trying their malt tea for the first time. I don't know how this is gonna taste, but hopefully really good. And Teresa got the... This is the mango ice cream slush. Yay! I'm so excited to try it. It actually looks so good. Okay. I'm very excited. Okay, good. verdict, this is actually really good. So if you guys didn't know, actually you won't know because I've never talked about it, but in Taiwan, I actually really like their malt drinks in 7-Eleven. So when I saw that on the menu, I had to get it. But yeah, it's really good. And look, my finger matches the drink. Hello guys, so today is Saturday. I just finished boxing, I came home, showered, and now I'm taking my parents to the Sunflower Festival. So if you guys don't know already, I am late a lot of the times, and now I know why, because my family is always late. So it's like, this is where I get it from, you guys. But I'm getting better. So we were supposed to be there, or we're supposed to be there at 3.30. It is now 3.15. It takes like 30 minutes to get there, so good luck. We're still here. Also, part of this whole natural curl journey, what I love about it is like I have no time on my hair now because I get out of the shower, I put on the product, and now I just leave the house with my hair wet and then just pray for the best, and usually it's been working out. So I've been really, really liking this natural hair journey. Hopefully, this will look better in the next frame that I show you guys. Okay guys, we finally made it to the sunflower farm, so this is what it looks like. But guys, oh, I missed it, that is so, <gasps> there we go, oh my god, this is golden moments of dad. Hi dad. <laughs> This is the situation right now. I'm actually dead. Like, what is happening? <laughs> My current goal at the sunflower farm or whatever it's called is I'm gonna take as many pictures of my parents taking pictures of flowers as much as possible. It is so cute and funny. Dad is like going through great lengths in order to take photos of flowers and there's so many so we're gonna be here all day really 
we are now done at the sunflower field. It was actually so much fun. We took so many photos. My mom took some photos for me and my brother. We were just walking, trying to do a fashion shoot. And now we are going to the farmer's market that's just next door. So hopefully it's good because my parents really want corn. I really want like strawberries and all different types of fruit. We have our masks back on because earlier there was just like so much space at that sunflower field that but now that we're going to the market obviously everyone's gonna be a lot closer together so there's no social distancing well I mean there is but like you know what I mean so we're now here mom there's corn <laughs> <laughs> 